Hey now, Clem Hawkins here with Elvis P. Muttley. I wonder if we should turn this way so you can see us. There's the pretty dog, his butt's really hurting. And we needed to motivate and the only way the heat in the car works is if it's moving. Um, so we're trying to safely time a trip to Nederland to get some medicine and get some first aid stuff for Elvis's butt. Uh, currently we're at the Taggarts. I'm going to jump in and get a coffee refill and I'll be right back. So, I suppose that 3.33 is a good enough time to have started this. Uh, we're being patient to find a crowd of cars to join as opposed to rolling solo, but uh, hopefully we will enjoy a safe trip to town and from there I can figure out what we're doing with Elvis great spirit has in store for us hopefully lots of blessings that makes Elvis wiggle his butt great spirit got good things in store for us huh really hoping 
to gosh you know it was so hopeful after that Jan lady now understand my mother's name is Jan Elvis reminds me a lot of her father she talked about her dog having a big tumor and not dying of the tumor and not to remove it then a guy on the internet says that he's got a lady friend or somebody that is willing to pay for the uh, operation to try and remove the tumor which is the smartest thing to do the problem or the challenge is without a place for Elvis to recover um, it doesn't make any sense to pay for the surgery um, also it's today Saturday anything before Monday would probably considered an emergency operation the one place that I found down in Denver wanted to castrate him and that just doesn't make any sense to me at 13 years old at the same time at 13 years old uh, even though his spirits are really really good my main concern is uh, that he doesn't feel discomfort and obviously the more what I'm looking at in the big 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 picture is number one it's difficult for the burden of my own situation let alone to involve others um, it's great to be able to find nice God praying type people to help out with the finances uh, maybe being we'll find out that we can somehow afford like say two weeks at a motel down in Boulder and have the operation done down there um, we'll see all in all um, two nights down in the flats or basically in any motel I, there's a bed and breakfast up here that's 50 bucks a night um, if we can find a warm place for two nights and then address it on Monday that'll be December 3rd and I saw that the clinic down below charged around about a hundred dollars to euthanize and all of that obviously not a fun thought or idea but um, you know as each day goes by and he has a harder and harder time walking around and finding things of interest uh, he's too crippled to play with any puppies and there's not a whole lot of play there for him with his hip in its condition if we had money and we were in a place he would survive the operation I'm sure I'm not sure how long I think he could have another five years considering his health and his lack of gray hair and uh, all of that which would mean the ability to have uh, to mate him or to find another female that uh, will be his girlfriend for the last few years or whatever and uh, that would be pretty darn awesome and the best thing I could hope for him um, granted part of me feels me speaking that as I get a little choked up could be Elvis speaking through me talking about me so when I listen to it back I'll remember what he was saying to me as per his wishes that I might find a girlfriend and settle down uh, 13 years is a good amount of time for a dog I'm told 
once the decision is made or, you know, as they say in the rush world, if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. And to make a decision like that, like Mark said, is a really difficult one. And as I'm thinking out loud with it, um, if it's a hundred dollars, it would make more sense to try the operation and if he doesn't make it, it's all taken care of. If he does make it, well, we will have to work on that after that. Um, it being Monday for it was about $70 a day so 10 days is $700 five days is 350 which is about what we spent last time for five days and he seemed to enjoy it he still enjoyed the walks but he'd get tired at about a mile and a half uh, which I still think is pretty good for a dog, but of his age anyway. Um, I had half thought, understanding my residentially challenged situation, I've learned that a $70 motel room can almost fill my tank twice which is 800 miles of longitude or latitude. Um, so for three nights, I'd be able to drive back to Mendocino if I so chose, if I could make it. And with everything else, to take into consideration. Um, I'm not sure why Chris unplugged the electricity, but I'm feeling as if our situation and his issues with death is just more on his plate that he doesn't want to handle. Uh, and I understand that we don't want to be anybody's burden. And I understand he's a sympathetic person about that to a point. Um, but at the same time, when I put myself in a situation, the only way I really can judge a situation is if I put myself in their situation or their position. And I think aside from the freaking out part, I'd be a lot more like Mike in my handoff approach. Um, not avoidance exactly, but um, anyway, part of the other thing I thought was uh, I think a lot I don't know if I think better when I drive, but driving seems to help me think. And in a gonzo journalistic sort of way, the beautiful mountains and the vocal overtones help continue to get my presence up in the cloud and uh, basically using that as a place for raw material to then compile later from, possibly. Um, when I get into town and maybe get things figured out, uh, I have half a mind to find a trailer to borrow 
or possibly someone could rent me one or rent one for me since I'm pretty sure you need a uh, registered vehicle and a driver's license. Um, but those are a hundred bucks a day and they totally cover the back end uh, with the hitch if I were to say buy one of those little platforms and then put a box or something or what whatever items that make it look like I'm moving uh, with a trailer I could do a drum set I should I could put everything in there most all of my belongings are in the box above right now um, with the exception of a few bags and my laptop and some jugs of water and Elvis's food uh, and just about now my feet are defrosting enough that they don't hurt I know that sounds like kind of silly but single layer of socks thin shoes mostly because they're easier to tuck into a sleeping bag which was the only way to stay reasonably comfortable um, as I work it out and talk it out and figure it out I accept and realize that um, I'm I feel I can't say for sure but I feel as if great spirit guides us through necessity sometimes desperation um, I'm trying to contemplate our place in the whole picture puzzle piece of the pie and just now as I'm coming down into town I'm feeling the bubble of the people's consciousness and uh, realizing why I prefer the remoteness of way out there in that my thoughts are my own, my bubble's my own. Um, there aren't but a few neighbors and they're a quarter mile, I don't know, a good distance away. Uh, that little thing would be about perfect. So I was thinking um, in my activities of the day and part of my awareness, plan, situation, consideration, whatever, is well, avoiding interacting with people as much as I can figuring on parking by the train cars um, possibly using that as an office for working on a few things for a bit um, but we're basically getting into town close enough hopefully to um, be able to get some herb for our head and motivation and peace of mind so that we're making calm and rational decisions uh, sure what we'll do once oh what day is it what day of the week is it it's Saturday yeah so I was thinking I might want to 
need to go to the store. Elvis needs bandages and like bacitracin or something like that. Um, So hopefully that was a nice 20 minute drive. If I start it at 3.33, that means it's not quite a 20 minute TED Talk drive with Clem. And to keep upload and processing time down, I think it's a good idea to keep my rants at about 20 minutes or less. So I'm gonna finish this up here at well, we're at 22 so 23 we got another minute and a half to hopefully circumvent all these issues and um we made it to town safely thank goodness uh i guess the main point focus purpose is gathering resources uh, I probably should have brought everything from the barn but I didn't I left the speaker there and other boxes and things um, if we end up having to bounce there's our low power if we end up having to bounce ASAP We'll go back over there, grab whatever we have remaining, and then head to a place and find us, ourselves a cheap motel. Uh, it's Saturday. Um, and then once we get everything coordinated and figured out, I guess, uh, at that point, we'll make those decisions when we get to them. But for now, it's a beautiful 20 some odd degree day in the sunshine with flurries. A pretty heavy storm or low front expected dropping the highs to 11 tomorrow. And not getting better until later next week. So possibly we will get some help from our friend and carry on from there so this is clem hawkins and elvis community residentially challenged and community motivated signing off for now have a great day